How pleased were you with the overall 60-minute performance tonight and the way you closed it out in the third in particular? Yeah, no, I thought it was a, you know, didn't give them much. You know, it's a fast team. You know, they're an up-and-coming team. Thought our third and fourth line um, did a nice job. You know, the, the uh, I, I, you know, obviously Z getting a couple of big goals for us, but I didn't think we gave him much in the in the high danger areas. Speaking of Zadorov, you know, jumping up in the rush on the the second goal, but just generally, what did you make of his game and the impact he had tonight? Yeah, no, I thought he, you know, when he moves his feet, I know Footy and Gonch have been really uh, working with him on trying to move his, keep moving his feet by getting up that rush. But uh, he's got a great, he's got a really good shot. I mean, he's he can, uh, he doesn't need a big wind up. He's got one of those quick, hard shots. Rick, for this team to be operating at 100%, it feels like the forecheck is a major part of that. Was that the key tonight for you guys, or was it something else? Yeah, the forecheck's been good, even last game. Um, you know, that's why I thought that, the, you know, couldn't get the fourth line out there much because of penalties. But then uh, when I got him out there, it um, seemed like we got some juice off those guys. And I uh, thought Lindholm's line was good, too. McKay, those guys were good. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, our team, when we're forechecking, well, obviously, you know, it really helps our our play so we don't have to defend all night. It's a fourth game in a row now. Vasily Pod Colson's led your team in hits. Uh, what are you seeing from him in the physical point of view? Yeah, I love that. I mean, that's why you got to sometimes, you know, it's nice to have young guys in the lineup because they, you know, they, they you know, like Podsy, you know, going around hitting guys. Uh, you know, it's it's good. It separates people on the puck. Um, and he had a couple of chances, you know, almost scored at the end. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, he's coming. Building off that, what does it mean when your team has 40 hits on the night? <clears throat> well, it, uh, we talked about before the game, we had to play, you know, this is a team you have to play through them. You know, you don't have to kill people, but I think getting in front of people is something that, you know, we continually have to do. And um, because as, as the season goes on here, that's a priority of like, you know, like I said, you just got to stay in front of people. And uh, if you can separate people with a puck with a good hit, take it, but at least get in front of people. You talk about the importance of depth scoring, especially this time of the yeah. season. Yeah, it was nice to see Oms. You know, he. Uh, I thought last game he was pretty good. I thought, um, you know, he hasn't played a lot. Um, you know, it's a nice little tip, you know, good for him. Uh, but, yeah, depth scoring, 100%. Thought, you know, Laugh and uh, McKay have getting a couple of assists, driving the net, you know, converting on the three on two, uh, setting up those plays was nice. We saw you use the lotto line, Pedersen, Miller, and Besser together for some defensive zone face-offs. What was the idea behind putting those three out together for in those situations? Well, we had some penalties. That I, just, I just had a feeling, and um, actually, they when I put them out there, it was actually more, with the first one was for offense, and they really had that possession. They had about 30, 40. Like, actually, it was really good. I thought it really helped us. Then, obviously, the, the goal at the end, a little tougher there, but uh, it was more for the offensive, you know, just to... Maybe you get that separating goal. If we could get that other goal, it was that, that was kind of my line. You know, sometimes want to put those guys together every once in a while. And Mikheyev, who had been sna yeah. snake bitten in the past, he comes up with two assists tonight, primary assists. Uh, how have you seen his game rounding out, and especially in terms of his skating, which seems yeah. to have taken a step in recent games? Yeah, that's it right there. I think his skating, for me, the last ten days have just really improved. Like he looks like he's got some. You know that extra juice, the extra gear, um, and that's his game, right? If he can skate um, and chase pucks down, you know that really helps our team, and you know increases our team speed. Uh, Rick, now that you have a healthy D, could you speak to the level of competition maybe yeah. within the group for playing time? And do you think that had any effect on Zadorov tonight? That competition? Well, it could have. What he talked to the D to the today and. Um, you know, there could be, who knows, comes out, you know, next guy could be maybe a surprise to you guys. But for us, it's, um, this is the way we got to go with it. You know, then some guys might not like it, but that's just the way it is. We're going to have to keep everybody on their toes. And, you know, and sometimes the guys coming out doesn't mean he's playing bad. It's just that we have to do this right now. I, I mean, I thought Juleson was really good tonight. So um, we'll have to sleep on what we're going to do next game. And for, I think it's over the last nine games now, You've given up only 23 shots a night. I know some of those games are a lot looser than you would have liked. Mm -hmm. But when you're yielding that little, how much easier does it make to, to win games? Yeah, I just think the commitment, like we have to, obviously every coach says it, you want to commit without the puck, but we, I think we're protecting the middle. 
you know, when we give stuff, it's the outside. It looks, you know, looks bad, I guess, to people, but at least we're protecting the middle. Um, so that's kind of the thing I've seen the last, you know, three weeks, for, even though that road trip, we didn't give a lot of shots. I look at high danger stuff for me or grade A chances. Like, you know, somebody gets 35 shots, doesn't bother me. It depends how many grade A's they get. So I, I, I think we've kept them to a minimum. And Casey Smith is, I mean, every game he's just been real solid. You know, uh, whether he's getting shots or not, he, he looks good. Like he's, you know, even there when teams have, they go side to side, he's right there. Like he looks like he's seen the puck, which is nice. Rick, tonight we saw a similar situation to the Colorado game where the other team scored a goal late in the second yeah. period to cut the lead. But tonight the third period and the response was a lot different. What do you think was the difference there? And how do you think they managed to like dial it in for that third period? Well, I thought we the, we didn't screw around with the puck in the third. We we played more north. We didn't regroup it, um, take it back. I think we established that north. And I think that got us back. You know, that first five minutes of the third, if we start screwing around with the puck, then you know, who knows what happens? Or you take a stupid penalty. That's the kind of thing we're trying to get away from, um, because um, anything can happen when you you know you let that goal at the end and then you come start a third who knows what happens so i think we established i don't think they had a chance in the third uh, the video guys were telling me when i walked in so we we really managed the puck well in the third and i think that's what counteracts that goal at the end like i didn't see us panic which was nice yeah just just three shots in the third period against i mean that's locking it down that's is that they, the they biggest, had three or we had three they had they had oh. only three shots I mean, yeah. is that is that the story? Is that what you really wanted to see more than anything else coming out of tonight? Yeah, I think when you're up, sometimes you're on your heels on the forecheck. So, you, you know, you don't go as hard. Then you allow the team to come out and they come out at waves. And then all of a sudden, you're skating backwards in neutral zone and you're defending. So I thought, for me, it's we don't want to back off. If we're responsible left three, uh, you know, our hard forward, we should go hard. And if, the, 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 if there's a rim and the pinch is available because we have people above, take the pinch i think when we back off that's where we get in trouble so i didn't see that tonight and, and then and i think it was midway through the first you guys had the power plays they didn't quite work yeah they get montreal gets that two on one right at the tail of the power yeah. play casey makes a huge save i mean how massive critical moment was that that's a two goal swing you know that's a that's a great point i forgot about that it's uh yeah you don't convert on the power play you have five on three and then they score it demoralizes the team it really does and i think casey with that save kind of let everybody breathe a little bit. So um, key moment in the game, you're 100% right. Rick, when you talk about inside play, getting inside on offense in the offensive zone and taking it away on defense, is it something that you guys have tweaked schematically in the last little bit, or is it just as simple as the guys executing what you've wanted all year long? Well, to me, it's for playing inside um, is will and, and grit and get, getting there. And now there's a little bit of technique you know, don't get there too early sometimes because you get pushed out. I mean, for smaller guys, there's technique and stuff and body position. But to me, it comes this way. It's, it's just getting there. You know, I, I, was it the first goal? Was it laugh in front? I mean, he, he has, you know, the goalie couldn't see it. I mean, he established. He, they weren't moving. I mean, we scored. I mean, those are the goals we got to find and get. And, um, you know, even the one, the deflection, you know, my, is it, I it was a uh, uh, Susie. Who, who shot the, the, the goal there when... Uh, was Myers? That was a hell of a play by Mizey, but it was a great tip, and we had people around the net. How about the penalty kill, especially yeah. at that key point in the second period, so they didn't gain momentum? What did you like about that? Well, I think we gave three in a row, right? Yeah, that that was key. You know, the, the save with Casey, and then killing those three because, boom, you know, you get three in a row. I mean, it was a short period of time. Yeah, um, that was big for us, and I think our PKs, you know, last couple of games has won us the game, or you know. Or major factor in our in our wins. Yeah, we played uh, we played well tonight. Obviously, um, you know these are these are big games for us being at home, and uh, you got to take advantage of them. Uh, and you know our team's uh, playing well and getting rest at the same time, so it's nice. And uh, you know we got some big games coming up, so just keep following them up. How important was the four check for you guys? Well, they they were really good uh, defensively. Um, I thought in the first uh, with their breakouts, we couldn't really sustain a four check. Um, you know, and then uh, I thought me and Hoggy kind of got going a little more in the second to make some plays and wear them down. And then in the third, we just, you know, played lockdown hockey, played, played the way we have to when, uh, when we have the lead. Can you talk us uh, through what happened on, the, on your goal, what you saw from the uh, Yeah, Teddy just made a great play. Um, you know, we want to be slashing across as wingers, and, 
you know, he just had some poise and, and put it under the guy's stick and hit me in stride. And I was fortunate enough, like I said earlier, the D was on a end of a late shift. And, uh, you know, I was aware I was going to have some time there. He just couldn't get all the way over. So just uh, got lucky, uh, hit the post and went the right way. A couple games now with Pedersen and Huglanders. Uh, your linemates, what do you think so far? That's a good player, so they're easy to play with. Um, you know, we had some chances tonight. We had, we had uh, opportunities to make plays. Um, you know that we didn't convert on, but uh, you know, that's how it goes. So we'll uh, we'll just keep working at it, and hopefully have a good practice tomorrow, and then um, get ready for Saturday. Which, like about the third period tonight, I felt like there was a different level of energy almost out there. Well, the, I think the chances they had, obviously Casey was there for us. They had that slapper, kind of halfway through the period. That that was a really big save for us. Um, and then uh, you know we didn't really give them much. So that's that's kind of how we play when we're at our best. Whether it's the first period or third period, but uh, you know late when you have the lead, you got to be on your game. And I thought we were tonight.